What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra keyboard and most of the tricks, at least the ones that I know right off the bat, that you can do with this. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. Let's first talk about the trackpad. So if you have the trackpad open, you can do a couple of things here. If you swipe up with three fingers, it's going to bring up your recent apps. If you swipe down with three fingers, it'll bring you home. And you can do this from any screen. So we've got Google Play Store in. If I swipe down with three fingers, it'll just bring us home. If I go back into Google Play Store and I swipe up with three fingers, it'll bring up my recent apps. And it's a quick and easy way. Another cool thing you can do here is we're just open up. We'll go back to the Google Play Store, for instance. If you swipe with three fingers, you can actually go through all of your apps that you have open very quickly. And you can swipe back and forth as well to go through them. That way you can Again, control your stuff, very simple. If you're on your home screens and you use two fingers, you can swipe through your home screens. I only have one main home screen and then I have my Google feed, but that's why, so that's why it's only showing those two, but basically back and forth, we'll swipe through your home screens. Now let's go into some of the tricks of the keyboard. Now, if you, now let's go through some of the tricks on the keyboard. So you're gonna hold this function key a lot to do a lot of stuff, but before we jump into that, if you hit this button right here, it says control, it'll actually bring up your smart assistant so that you can control anything you can with Google Assistant or whatever you have you set as your Smart Assistant default. If you hold Function and hit the space bar, it will turn off your trackpad so your trackpad won't work. You might want that maybe if you have a kid or something and they continually touch it. Uh, the, the trackpad, you can turn that off very easily that way. Again, that's Function and space bar. If you want to bring up your on-screen keyboard, an easy way to do that, Function and the key to the right of the space bar. So you press that and it'll bring up your keyboard. That way you can type right here really quickly when need be. Here's kind of an advanced cool trick. If you press function and tab, you'll see a little thing that pops up. It says checks your, check on your phone or tablet. Ultimately, you'll see if you go into the Bluetooth settings of your phone, it will say that you can allow your Galaxy Tab X Ultra to connect to this phone and control it. And you can switch that back and forth by pressing and holding function and tab. You just hit allow and it'll allow you to control your phone or whatever Galaxy device you have with this. Now, if you hold function and F1, F2, or F3, you can set favorite apps. So I'll show you what to do. Function and F1 is gonna bring up the Google uh, Chrome browser for me. F2 brings up my Reddit. F3 brings up Again, my Google Chrome browser, I had it switched to Twitter ultimately, but if you wanna switch, I'll switch F1 to Twitter. So I'm gonna open up my Twitter real quick here. And the way you set favorites with it is you just open up the app on your screen and then hold function and F1, F2, or F3 to set it as a favorite. So I'm gonna do function and F1. You hold it for three seconds until you see the little thing on the screen that says Twitter has been updated. So I'm gonna go home or we could be at any screen function in F1, that brings up my Twitter again. So quick and easy way to set some shortcuts on your keyboard. Function and F4 brings up your, all your apps, all your app screen. Function in F5 brings up your recent apps. Function in F6 will bring you home. So we'll just again open up Google Play Store, go to function F6 and it brings you right home. Function F7 and F8 will either decrease or increase the brightness of your display. So that's the way you can quickly, easily do that. So function F9, F10, and F11 will either increase, decrease, or mute your volume of your tablet. Function in F12 is an important one. What that does is it makes your keyboard either brighter or lighter based off of how you want it. So you'll have three modes. It's, it's actually, I think it's four. It's off, light, medium and bright. Function and the finder key brings up your settings menu. Function and the dex button will bring up your dex automatically. So you hold that down, you can automatically go into dex. And if you hold function and dex again, it'll exit dex for you. And there you guys go. Those are your tips and tricks for your Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra keyboard and trackpad. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you down the road. Peace.